So the Mayor of London still hasn't put out any data about whether or not the EULA's expansion, which happened at the end of September 2023, the ultra low emission zone, has had any impact on the air quality of the areas that are affected. We're six months on, September, October, November, December, January, February, and now we're into March. So six months is now complete and we still haven't had any, haven't had any data. Now, as you know, the regular people that watch this channel will know that I shot these two videos and this was way back last year before the expansion had happened. And what I did is I went around with an Eli Tech air quality meter and I measured the uh, PM particulate emissions within the ULE zone, which was this one, which was in central London. So I measured it within there. That was part one. And then for part two, which was this one, what I did is I went into these areas, which is where I live, which is outer London, where ULE was going to come in. So this was prior to ULE coming in. So I have the data from this video and so what I thought I'd do is since the mayor isn't putting out any data, I'd go back and revisit some of the places that I covered in this video and do the test again with the same meter I used before. But in the meantime, Eli Tech, as a thank you, I guess, also sent me this bad boy. So this is a bit of an upgrade. This is the M200. You can check it out. It comes in a nice container and everything. Now, the thing about this, it gives you a whole load of information. I'm assuming it's more accurate because it's got this little sensor thing on the top here, um, but it doesn't give you the AQI overall air quality index. It gives you the particulate emissions. This one, of course, does. So I'm going to use these two side Side by side and basically cover the same areas that I covered before. So we're in Fryan Park which is one of the areas where I covered the, uh, the air quality. Now I, what I did in the previous video was I went out into that field over there but since it has been raining virtually non-stop for the last six months, that is absolutely drenched back there. It is a muddy field and I don't think I have the right shoes for that. Anyway, I had only walked a few meters into that field anyway, so I'm pretty much there or thereabouts. So what did we have in the previous video in terms of the air quality in this area? Well, I've got the data here. It's on my phone and I can tell you that in Fryan Park, we had uh, an air quality index of between 8 and 11. Now, if you remember in that video, what I found that it was actually 8, but when a train was passing, because we have the Jubilee line, which cuts across from Wembley Park to Kingsbury, which is over there, it actually went up. So that's why I got a range of 8 to 11 air quality index. Uh, the particulate 2.5 was 2.3, and the particulate 10 emissions was 4. So what do we have at the moment? Well, on my original meter that I used, the particulate emission 2.5 is reading 5 and that tallies with the new meter which is showing 4.6 and as I said it was 2.3 before so it's actually gone up. Is uh, The particulate emissions, the particulate 10, the PM10 is showing 8.6 in my old meter and 7.5 in the new one. There's a slight di discrepancy but they're pretty close so that's quite high compared to the 4 I had before. That's astonishing. Now I'm going to wait a few minutes to see if I can hear the train go past and see if the air quality index goes up. So the AQI at the moment is showing 17. 17! Whereas before it showed 10 or 11. Now some of you might say, well, because you're standing in the car park, but this car is off. Those cars are off. This is very spaced out. The traffic is way, way over there. There wouldn't have been much difference between here and there. So I don't think that would have any impact at all whatsoever. But yeah, 17. So actually, it appears to have got worse. So as we can see, a train has just passed and the reading went up to 23. So the AQI went up to 23 as the, as the train passed. So once again, we can see that difference. In this case, it was as much as five as that train that you see has just gone past. And that's about half a mile away from where I'm standing. Crown God. Hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, make sure you hit that like button, comment, share, tell the world. So here's actually where I started that video, part two. Here I am on Kingsbury High Road, my local high road. There is Kingsbury Roundabout just behind you there. It is probably one of the most busiest places in this area, as you can see. This road is generally very, very busy because lots of shopping goes on there. So what did I get here last time? I got an AQI reading of between 18 and 24. So I was here a while and I was measuring it. 18 to 24 is what I got. The PM 2.5 was 5.1 and the PM 10 was 8.1. So what have I got this time? Let's have a look. So on the on the old meter I got 
for PM 2.5 and 7.6 for PM 10. On the new meter, I got 8.1 for PM 2.5 and 12. Point, oh, actually, it's gone up to 13. 13.1 for particulate PM 10. Go back to the AQI, it's showing 22. So to be honest with you, actually, it's just gone up to 23. So to be honest with you, I think that that compares quite closely to what we has gone up to 25 actually now. So that now actually exceeds by one point, it actually exceeds what I had before. Actually, it's going up. That's gone up to 28, maybe because that lorry just came. Look, that's a lorry full of cylinders there. Obviously a diesel lorry. It's quite possible that that has just shot up because of that. Because that's now gone up to 32, 33, still rising, 34, <laughs> 35. So, so much for the air having improved. 35, it's at 35, 36. Traffic here is building. Um, so what have I got on here? I've got 8.1 at particulate 2.5. I've got 13.7 on there. If you can zoom in on those, then you can see. Let's have a closer look at these. That's what I'm getting. It's gone up to 39 now on the AQI. Just to remind you, previously the highest I got on this road was 24. It's just got up to 40. Now I don't know if a train is passing because if you recall last time when I, par when I walked past Kingsbury Station, that's when I saw it shot up. But this time, what I've got this time is 24 was the AQI, 5.1, was the 2.5 and 8.1 was the PM10. So that's now going back to 30 and it's going down again. So you know what, I suspect it was actually that lorry. I suspect it was that lorry that actually shot it up. So it's gonna go back. So let's just stay with it to see where it settles at so that we get a typical reading for this road so that we know that actually what it, so, we, so basically we can compare like for like. So the road's gone quiet now, so it's definitely gonna drop. We've got a bus coming in from this side. 28, still dropping. Let, um, so what we want to see actually is that if it is actually improved, then it will get below 18, because 18 was my lowest reading previously. It's going down to 26. What's the PM on this one? 6.4 uh, and 11 for PM 10 versus 5.1 last time, 8.1 last time. Going back to AQI, 27, now it's going back up again. So basically, there you have it. I think it's fair to say that it's there or there about similar to what we had before, and maybe even slightly more. So, wow. As I'm standing here, just after we stopped recording, it started climbing again, and it's gone up to 45. And I guarantee you, I promise you, I did not have a reading as high as that last time when I did that video, standing on this same spot where I'm standing right now. It's now started to go down again. Now, some of you who watched that part two video might say, are you going to walk past the station again? Well, there's no point because the purpose of that was to show that as the trains were coming in, the emissions were increasing. This video is not about that. This video is about seeing if there's a difference between before and after. Unfortunately, at the moment, it looks like the air quality has got worse, if anything. So here we are in the middle of Edgware Road. This is the A5. This is Hendon. So behind me is the North Circular Road. This is where you just come over that Staples Corner flyover to get to this bit here. This is exactly where I was last time as well when I shot this. And what figures did I get when I was here last time? I got an AQI of 18. I got particulate emissions 2.5 of 4.4 and PM10 was 7.4. So what have we got this time? Well, actually it's pretty close in terms of the pms on the old meter because the old meter is showing 4.7 for pm 2.5 versus 4.4 from before and it's showing 8.6 for pm 10 versus 7.4 for before so it's about one higher with the newer meter the more accurate the big boy here it's showing a lot of noise here it's very noisy the, the pm 2.5 is showing 4.3 and the PM10 is showing seven. So that's what it's showing on there. In terms of the AQI, like I said, it was 18 here last time. So let's go back to the old meter and see what it says on there. Um, we have got 19. So it's just one point higher. So actually, 
standing here and as you can see it's really busy and really loud this is exactly how it was last time as well they're actually pretty similar it's just gone up to 20 now on there but it's actually pretty similar to how it was before so not a lot of change neither up i would say you know if anything it's gone a little bit higher so maybe two points higher but by and large i would say to be fair it's probably about the same right there's one more place that i wanted to check and that was the tesco ikea where we actually have the actual air quality monitoring station so i think that would be the last stop on this video Crown car guy. Sorry to interrupt the video guys, hope you're enjoying it. In the meantime, I wanted to tell you about this. It's my first novel, The Euless Files. It's all about cars, it's for you guys. Get your copy now at Amazon.com. So here I am back in Tesco, cars parked, I think pretty much in exactly the same spot it was parked in that part two video. And the readings that I had in that part two video for the Tesco car park was an AQI index of five, uh, PM 2.5 was 1.2 and PM 10 was 2.0. So what have we got now? Well, AQI reading at the moment is 15. I don't know if you can see that, but that says 15 on there right now. And uh, if I go, oh, it's dropping, it's dropping. Shall we stick with it? Shall we see where it goes? but that's significantly higher than the five I got before. Okay, it's sticking at 14, but that's significantly higher. Don't forget anything below 50 is still good. So it's still showing good. It's actually gone back up to 15 now. And in terms of particular emissions, it's showing 3.6 and uh, for PM 2.5 and 6.1 for PM 10. And on this one, we are showing uh, 4.1 or 4.0, it's dropped now. 4.0 for 2.5, PM 2.5 and 6.2 for PM 10. So let's try the, I'll show you these close up, have a look. And whilst, whilst you're having a look at these, what we'll do is we'll go up onto the gantry just over the North Circular like we did last time. And also we'll check out a particular spot that I wanted to show you last time and I will show you again this time. Shout out time guys, thank you so much. Hey, if you enjoy my content, why not get involved? Buy me a coffee. You can do that at either of these links. Or if you're watching on YouTube, buy me a thanks or take out a membership. It all helps, it really does. the gantry and this is above the north circular road there's the tesco there's the ikea there's the motorbike pen crosses that way hangar lane is that way it's about it's coming up to nearly four o'clock so it's getting quite busy now around the same time i did last time what did i get last time last time on the gantry i got between 10 and 12 for the aqi i got 2.9 for the pm 2.5 and i got 4.8 for the pm 10 this time i've got 12 so similar to last time and the uh, reading for PM 2.5 and let the people pass. This is an active gantry, as you can see, a crossing bridge. So AQI has just gone up to 13. So now we are actually one point higher than what we were before. So 10 to 12 before, now it's showing 13. Let's see on the old meter what the uh, PM 2.5 is. So PM 2.5 is 3.5 now. PM 10 is 6.0. It's going up actually, 3.7, 6.3. What about on the new meter? On that one, PM 2.5 is 4.5 and the PM 10 is 6.8. Yep, that person definitely agrees with me. So as we can see, it's about the same. I would say a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Take a close look at these. So here we are right next to the North Circular, a very noisy North Circular. And here I am next to the official air quality monitor station. You remember I brought you here last time to see how it would compare with the reading on this to the reading on there. Well, last time, if you remember, the reading on here, according to the website, was 15 at the time that I was standing here. That's the AQI, air quality index. The reading on my monitor at the time, I think, was 17. So there was a discrepancy of two, but they were pretty close. So what is it now? Now, on here, officially, 21. It's actually gone up. It's gone up by six. So there you go. And now in the ULES expanded zone, the official air quality monitor station, the official reading from there is now 21. How does that tally with this? Again, it's two points higher at 23. So that is still doing the same thing that it was doing before. It is a busy road. There are going to be people passing. So how are we looking for the, uh, so that's what that is. 21, I'll show you that in a minute. We uh, The uh, PM 2.5 is 5.4 here. 
and PM10 is 9.4 on the old meter. On the new one, it's 4.9 for 2.5 and it's 7.6 for PM10. They're pretty close, not far off. So once again, let me show you this. We have got an AQI reading of 21. So not conclusive proof by any means, obviously, because this is not a proper experiment, but based on what I did last time, compare that to compare this today. Obviously, there are changes in weather and circumstances and traffic and what have you. But nonetheless, I think as a like for like comparison, what I have shown in this video, I believe, is that the air quality hasn't improved six months after the expansion of units. If anything, perhaps it's got slightly worse.